Future Educational Committee. Dr. Boyashi presently leads the Education Committee of UNESCO in Turkey and is also a board member of the Turkish National Commission of UNESCO. He works as a consultant, especially for issues such as education for sustainable development, 21st century teaching skills, and analyzing of educational data within the UNESCO framework. Previously, he was attached at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Turkish Republic. He has worked as an academic consultant on educational issues and investment projects in Turkey, uh, Republic of Northern Cyprus of Turkish Republic. In addition, his work as an academic consultant and a member of the steering committee in national reform projects titled 21st Century Strategies for Teachers, Development for Instructional Curriculum for Primary School Teachers at the EU Countries and the European Portal for International Courses and Services. As of the European Union um, projects that Dr. Biyashi has worked on as an, as an expert and senior national manager. Today, Dr. Biyashi will present e-learning as a change agent in paradigm shift of Turkish education policies and practices. Dr. Bayashi. Thank you. First of all, it's a great pleasure to, and honor to be here. I want to express my appreciation to Human Life Advancement Foundation to his, uh, to his its president, Dr. Martin bin Mohammed. I'm going to talk about the learning is changing and change the nature of education, meaning of being a student, teacher, school principals, and a parent. Actually, we are moving from the dark in the classroom where we are sitting with our books and the notebooks to the learning is occur everywhere without limitation of the time and space on laptops, tablets, and other mobile uh, technologies. Learning is going to be happen where and when we need. And I'm going to share the experiences at policy and implication level for the last 10 years of Turkey. I'm sure that almost all of you have a smart mobile phones and you came here with them in your pocket. And maybe some of them came with the laptops or the tablets. 30 years ago, if you are a good student willing to learn, you always have a pen in your pocket and it was appreciated by teachers or the adults. 30 years ago, if you are a good student, you attend the classes regularly, otherwise you can't compensate the missing classes. You go to library and when you need a help uh, your, for your problems you face in your assignment, you have to find the right person to get some help. And 30 years ago, in your leisure time, you can play football or basketball at your street or can chat your friends face to face or watch television with, with your family. You have to wait uh, the popular Hollywood films to watch at the cinema in your time. And most importantly, 30 years ago, you learned social, cultural, and religious values only from your families, relatives, teachers, and the neighbors. This could be a tale for you. Most of your teachers and the parents has grown up in this boring social environment. Uh, maybe 30 years later, you will tell about your life to your children and they will, shocked. They will be shocked when they listen to you, uh, when, they, when you listen to your boring life. Actually, uh, my 12 years old son never go to library. They do not pr uh, prefer going to the library. He rejected to use uh, my old mobile phone, having a keypad. He, uh, he doesn't uh, prefer the asking the questions about the problem they face in his assignment. Instead, they have been using student portal or asking the WhatsApp group. Uh, they settle up a, a WhatsApp group and even uh, they find the answers of the tests uh, from the WhatsApp group. They are cheating actually uh, via technology. Uh, he's downloading his assignments from the school's learning management system, LMS system, and uploading the LMS site. And there's no need to go to school to learn about his academic performance, grades, or absenteeism. Every kind of information is sent by the LMS simultaneously to my mobile phone. Although he changed his mind frequently, nowadays he wants to be a YouTuber, having a, rate, a high rating. Uh, even if I'm, I am an academician, and as a father, all of them seems to be a little weird to me. 
In short, learning has been changing and changed us. And the question is now, how can the change be transformed into improvement for training of innovative generations? Emerging technologies <clears throat> have been inspiring a new paradigm of education on which education systems have been questioned, analyzed, and reformed to, the, to train innovative individuals or create innovative societies. Uh, and digital network and mobile media has challenged the traditional assumptions about being a student in classrooms or schools, roles and responsibilities of the teachers and school principals, expectations and attitudes of parents. Space, time, content, and the learning outcomes of education has changed its forms, and pure online or blended or hybrid models of learning have been emerging in the different countries of the 21st century. In almost every country, governments with NGOs and private initiatives have focused on education policies, offering the efficient, affordable model of the learning. Turkey is also one of these countries. I want to give some information about uh, Turkey to get understand, uh, to understand the, uh, the project, projects on e-learning profile of the Turkey. Turkey's population is almost 77.7 .7 million and has very young population. Approximately 24% of total population is between the age of 6 to 20. And 65% uh, of population is under age 40. Turkish education system can be characterized as a pre predominantly public and centralized compulsory education is 12 years and starts at 60 years old. Uh, since 1998, the government has recognized the importance of the ICT integration in classroom and various efforts have been made to provide schools with access to computer equipment and interactive teaching technologies. By so, ICT integration to educational settings and synchronous and asynchronous learning on the web has emerged as a critical issue for creating innovative educational environment. However, there was no official uh, policy paper on ICT integration or web-based learning. Within this framework, between the 1998 and the 2004, the World Bank supported uh, basic education project implemented aimed to improve the basic education quality by providing computer labs and uh, uh, educational materials to the schools. With the scope of the project, computer equipment was provided and approximately 2,800 classrooms and ICT uh, trainers and the coordinators were trained. However, the World Bank notes that insufficient computer software was provided to the schools and actual courses taught by the ICT trainers were limited to laboratories and focused on the basic computer skills. Additionally, subject teachers were not trained in how to integrate the computers into their subject teaching. After the experience of the World Bank project in 2006, Turkish governments announced the first policy paper, Information Society Strategy, ISS, suggests that widespread introduction and use of ICT is considered as one of the primary means of maintaining sustainable economic growth. For the first time, ICT, including e-learning facility, has become an integral part of the official educational policy paper. The distinctive features of this policy paper focuses on the implementation objective, which is a massive transformation of all educational settings into digital learning environments. This is project is so-called Fatih project, and it covers up the elementary and secondary uh, education. The government considers it's an imperative to prepare this generation, be a driving force of the Turkish economic growth and the transformation to the information society. The information society strategy implies that uh, the means to this end by ensuring that ICT is used in schools both to support the curriculum and impact ICT skills and that relevant content is available for the lifelong learning outside of the school. It's expected that this will also create a sustainable demand for ICT and the build, to build a sector. As you see, the, uh, uh, the Turkey uh, put a strategic plan on the stage of e-learning. At the first stage, 
the basic basic ICT station uh, and some essential tools and the laboratory was founded and second stage focus on learning and the laboratory's instruction and the trainings, trainings, uh, training of the instruction can be uh, important. And stage three, classroom of e-learning and the last stage is one-to-one -one of e-learning. This is, this is the last stage of uh, this blueprint of the e-learning. And in this uh, project, uh, project objectives, when we talk about project online content and professional development, innovative technologies, student-centric problem solving and collaboration, ubiquitous access, one-to-one e-learning -one e environment and student motivation are the integral components of the uh, project. Actually, actually, party project, uh, this could be defined as a paradigm, paradigm shift and has a claim uh, and meaning beyond the ICT transformation. The Fatih project is evoking a powerful Ottoman Sultan Mehmed II, or Fatih the Conqueror, is often referred as the Fatih project. The Minister of National uh, Education designed Fatih to provide interactive whiteboards, tablets, computers, and internet network infrastructure to all schools in basic education in attempt to enhance the equality of opportunity in education and to improve the ICT users in teaching and learning process of the school. FATI intends to set up ICT hardware in 40,000 schools and 620,000 classrooms across the Turkey. The project, which was initially launched secondary schools but will eventually reach the all grades level between two. Uh, 2011 and 2019 and has five main components. So far, Minister of National Education has distributed 732,000 tablets to the students as a part of the uh, movement to increase the opportunities, of te uh, opportunities and technology projects, which is called FATI project. When we talk about the project objectives, uh, the preparation of the infrastructure is the first and prerequisite phase of this project for hardware and the software that comprise effective procurement and distribution and technical setup of equipment of the schools. In this sense, interactive whiteboards, infrastructure of the internet, and uh, uh, data, sh uh, data show equipments and other equipments uh, being distributed to the uh, schools. And secondly, provision and the management of e-content that entails the creating a new class materials. And this is an also in the process. Uh, different e-materials has been prepared uh, by the help of, of private initiatives, private sectors. Actually, the ultimate goal is to create a market for e-learning uh, e uh, materials, preparing of e-learning materials and effective usage in line with the curricula that aims to find the new channels of integrated ICT usage with the course of curricula, uh, it's still going on process. And fourthly, consciousness reliable measure of usage of ICT and internet that focus on the teaching of users ICT, how to use the relevant ICT tools with complementary information on the web. And the fifth and the most important uh, stage, I think, in service training to teachers Two, for ICT instruction in classroom, that enables the teachers to use ICT tools effectively in classroom environment. In this sense, the, uh, as a pilot, Fatih first distributed the phase, excluding tablets began 2010 and 2011 school year in four schools. Each classroom in this school was equipped with a laptop and a, project, a projector and in, uh, interactive whiteboards. The second distribution phase, including the tablets, was completed 17 provinces and uh, 52 schools in 2011 and 2013. Following the second phase of the distribution, Minister of National Education decided to grant uh, internet access to tablets while in schools. The specific modalities for ensuring the equitable access to the internet 
after the school hours and at home are still under development. Uh, with the FATI framework, uh, 680,000 teachers should receive two modules of training starting 2012. An implementation of 30 hour training on ICT usage in education and 25 uh, hour trainings on preparatory education were launched. According to the Minister of National Education, more than 120,000 teachers received the tra uh, trainings as April of 2013. And uh, the goal of the equipping schools with FATI project, pro uh, particularly with interactive whiteboards and the computer classroom, predates the FATI uh, by over a decade in Turkey, as described above. However, previously, schools had to fundraise locally for ICT equipment. As a result, schools in wealthier communities were better resourced. While the other schools remained marginalized, the world opportunity in agronomy, FATI refers to the effort to uh, counter the strand and ensure that all schools and students have compa uh, comparable opportunities. However, identifying the specific objectivities of the efforts is necessary in order to evaluate whether inputs are appropriately designed and supported and ultimately whether objectives have been achieved, some of the possible objectives, social, societal uh, transformation, economic transformation, education transformation could be discussed. In terms of social uh, transformation, as the demand for technology and digital service increases, it follows that production of innovation that add the value for both internal and external consumption. Furthermore, increased access and use of, uh, use of can foster the cultural development, social integration, and democratic participation. Therefore, by reaching the youth of today using the schools as an entry point, FATIH can potentially contribute to Turkey's vision on information society and transforming the country's human capital to be more competitive. Although FATIH is not mentioned by the name in ISS or other national education strategy documents, the name alone communicates the commitment to social change through the improving equitable access to technology. Large-scale one-to-one education technology programs have been explicitly cited social transformation and civic engagement as a goal, actually in Peru or Uruguay respectively. And some report that mere presence of the technology improves social morale as a symbol of modern opportunity and the progress. In terms of economic transformation, uh, economic terms is often uh, used to justify the ICT in education investments, either directly through the manufacturing or indirectly through the human capital development. Estimated cost of the project in, is about 7 billion US dollar. And uh, 84,000 interactive whiteboards and 732,000 tablet computers so far purchased, so far purchased for schools come from the Turkish manufacturer. And there's a local operating system called Pardus. Being promoted uh, for use to the tablets and uh, inter uh, interactive whiteboards as a way to improve the local ownership and to avoid the long-term dependence on closed system. There was also reportedly an intent to require that 50% manufacturing of the screens, 30% of integrated circuits, and the 70% of batteries be done in Turkey. The government is also encouraging the foreign firms to be involved in the FATI, provided that they meet requirements such as establishing production and research development facilities in Turkey. And educational, educational transformation. Such a large investment in tools uh, for teachers and students will necessarily transform the education system. Some of the expected outcomes when investing these technologies include more engaged learners uh, and subsequently better attendance and improved behavior. Increased and improved collaboration between students, more student-centered pedagogy through the personal device, personalized content, reduced cost of the textbooks, procurement in favor of the digital text, increased use of visual, auditory, and kinesthetic learning methods, including games, 
simulations and other potentials for robust data analytics and the student progress monitoring. Although these, uh, these goals seem to self-evident to technology promote, pro proponents, very few of them have actually been proven to result for implementation to one-to-one -to -one by tablets. This is the cri uh, criticization of the, this uh, practice. And uh, lastly, uh, we have, I, I'm uh, focusing on the critical points to be kept in the mind. Schoolers and the practitioners who write about the ICT in education and e-learning agree over and over again that uh, the mere presence of technology will not improve any kind of school level outcomes and the technology favors the prepared organizations. Uh, students, students actually are ready, uh, but it's the, it's the adults who aren't fostering an enabling environment at the national level. In UNESCO in 2004, guidance for int integrating ICT in education at large scale recognized that the value of interministerial collaboration when implementing ICT in education plan, uh, but the, it also emphasized the importance of clearly defined roles, concrete work plans attached realistic budgets, having central support, and etc. More recent lessons from the one, uh, learned from one-to-one -one program emphasize the importance of multi-state stakeholder involvement, including private sector, communities, and parents. The project has been realized by different stakeholders, including private sector, NGOs, and uh, some ministries of uh, government. But it's still, since it's still going on process, we can trace uh, transparently the results and the processes. And uh, schools and the ministry is an ecosystem, uh, and the needs of the ecosystem determine the decision-making implementation. And then, uh, if you want to run a, such a large system, and if you invest a large, uh, such a large uh, investment, you have to change the system of education in terms of organization of the education system as a whole. Because every school <coughs> has a sensitive uh, demand, uh, has a sensitive to the uh, demands and uh, uh, supplies. And all of them should be met by the uh, centralized authorities, not the ministry of the authority. So the ecosystem should be constructed and should settle up to run the system is another proposal for this kind of uh, investments. And the other one, there's a need for invest investments to use the technology in education. Why, uh, why do your teachers learn or produce uh, e-learning materials uh, in schools and in classrooms? We need uh, incentives and this is the central point, I think, in especially implication of such a policy in the classroom settings. And it's not the boards that are the smart, it's the teachers, it's, I think, the core part of the uh, project, because without a teacher intervention, without teacher tr uh, training, such kind of projects could never be succeeded at all. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Boerci. Any questions from the members of members of the floor? Do you have any questions? Yes, we have one question from NC Junaidi Yusai. Um. I'm just uh, curious, um, uh, second last point on the critical uh, issues to be kept in mind about the incentives for the teachers. Mm -hmm. um, what kind of incentives that you have, I mean, you are suggesting, and why is this so? Uh, it's in there, incentive already embedded in the whole uh, system being um, technology that is being used that will motivate people to learn and the teachers to adapt? Thank you. Thank you. Actually, this is the very critical question. 
Uh, in Turkey, as almost uh, the most of the country uh, countries, the teachers are the civil servants. Uh, has a uh, job guarantee. So this is a uh, in in some points it's something good, but mostly uh, uh, it's it has been criticized uh, for the motivation. So for the incentives, there uh, there has been different kinds of uh, projects. One of them is the career stakes for the teachers. For example, I'm a teacher. I became a teacher, and 30 years later, I'm still a teacher. There is no career uh, stairs for teachers. And other one, uh, other uh, problem is that uh, there is no performance uh, evolution system actually in the system. Uh, we can accept that it's very tough thing to construct a performance management system in an education system because teacher is the only one parameter affecting the uh, outcomes of the education or the success of the education. But in any way, there's a need for uh, the performance uh, evolution system. All of those uh, points uh, have been discussed in Minister of National Education and uh, 21st century uh, teacher education strategy has been put forward uh, and presented to Minister of National Education. And uh, National Education, uh, Minister of National Education has accepted this strategic, strategic paper and put the government program. And in, 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 uh, uh, in implementation stage, uh, election time comes. So uh, we are still in the election time process, but uh, the, the two previous governments uh, is insisting on this uh, incentives oriented uh, teacher uh, carrier system. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions from the participants? No more questions. Thank you, Dr. Boyaji. Thank you.